Hey guys, I'm going to go ahead and apologize for a lot of things before this video even starts. I look ratchet. I barely have makeup on for this sit down video. I put a little eyeliner on. But you know what? I put my Christmas sweater on, my frozen Christmas sweater. This is a Christmas video. Justin and Jackson are in the room because this is Jackson's playroom essentially. But you guys want to see what we got Jackson for Christmas and we finally finished shopping. So I'm going to apologize ahead of time if I'm sarcastic. Be and I'm just really grouchy. Um, we're surviving the ro ro rotavirus and uh, we're tired and the house smells like poop and dog vomit because Amber's still a little vomity, my firstborn child. <laughs> I think my dogs are my kids. It's just life. Um, so I'm going to go through what I got Jackson, but before I show you what I got Jackson, oh, that's so far away. I'm going to show you guys what I got our godson, Liam. Mickey. Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna leave this. I'm not editing that out. We're both like, Ugh. okay. <laughs> you just worry about the baby. So I got Liam, who is obsessed with Mickey Mouse. He checks and sings all his Christmas gifts, but he was there when we bought them. Um, <laughs> We got we got Liam this Mickey Mouse Clubhouse hot dog and dance and Mickey. He is obsessed with Mickey Mouse, and uh, when we went to the Disney store and he just saw a Mickey stuffed animal, he was like, <laughs> so like when I saw this, I told Crystal that's what I wanted to get him for Christmas. the same thing I got Jackson uh, this is Jackson has this too this is the baby animals Disney baby animals storybook it comes with uh, 8 9 10 11 12 12 wow it's right there it comes with 12 little books um, so every year I have my nieces and nephews make cookies for Santa we decorate the cookies and stuff that auntie made earlier in the week and that's their cookies for Santa. And so um, this year the boys are going to do it but helped with their moms because Liam's going to be on Christmas Eve too. And I always make the kids a basket on the table where they decorate, our kitchen table. I make them like a Christmas gift basket and then they have their gifts. So the boys are too little for the kind of stuff I put in the Christmas gift basket. So um, I am I'm putting these on the table for them. So I got Jackson and Liam one, so that's one of Jackson's gifts and the other one of Liam's. I just didn't drag them both in here. Um, so that's the first thing. That's a Christmas Eve gift. And then before Christmas, Christmas, he's also getting um, this book. Oh, Jesus. He's also <laughs> getting this book. Um, this is the Usborn, 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 I'm always like terrible with pronouncing stuff. I'm obsessed with Usborn now, like truly, truly obsessed. Um, <clears throat> I have several friends that have done it and I finally was like, fine, I'll do a party, any Christmas gifts. And now I'm freaking obsessed. And if I had the time, I'd start selling them just so that like I could make money on all the books I'm going to be buying. <laughs> So, um, anyways, this is a, this. That's not my elf. One of their series. Um, I also got them. That's not my puppy. Is one of the books, but it is like a um, sensory, touchy feely book. And so, when his elf comes out, his elf on a shelf. So we're getting an elf on a shelf this year, and he probably is gonna have no idea what's going on. I mean, he's only gonna be like seven months old. He's not really gonna know the deal. But I mean. We still feel like he needs an elf. The dogs have an elf. His name is Claudius. And so Jackson is going to get his own elf. So Claudius and his elf. I'm going to let him name it when he's older. Anyways, we're going to have two elves on a shelf that get into mischief together. So the dog's elf leaves him cookies every morning. Um, so I thought it would be fun for December 1st for his elf when he makes his appearance to give him this sensory book. So it's just like, I don't know if y'all have ever seen this. I used to have some in my classroom. I never realized it was from this company. So it's just like little sensory things. Okay. So I'm just going to go through all the books now because he's getting a lot of books. 
so this is also us born another sensory from the that's not my line i pretty much want to get this whole line now um he has some sensory books now but i know around that age is when he's really going to start liking sensory books especially into like like um up to like 18 months they really enjoy those so i'm probably gonna try to get some more um and then we found this book at bye bye baby a good night galaxy if you're just finding this video randomly because you saw what i got my baby for christmas and you're looking for tips our son's got a million space clothes and his nursery space and his parents are space geeks so this is about the galaxy um and when we saw it in bye bye baby we were done shopping for christmas already and i was like well just one more thing and i tossed it in the cart <laughs> so um this is also from bye bye baby there's no place like space y'all gonna start seeing a lot of space stuff in a minute there's no place like space it's um a dr seuss series book but it's not by dr seuss it's by like that other person that writes them now um so and it's about the solar system then we're back to the us born books and i really honestly might buy him some more because i'm going to another online party on <laughs> october 16th wait what <laughs> yeah sorry okay so this one is my very first space book i love these books because they're so educational it's kind of it's not like thick cardboard but it's like thicker paper um, so this will be good when he's a little older. I'm like, he'd probably find it interesting now. I'll just look at the pictures. I would find it interesting. He loves books. He'll sit through any book, really. And there's like a ton of space books in there. So I just need to be extremely careful. Just is going to take my bank card away. Um, this one's called On the Moon, another space book. This one has regular pages. So it's like a book you sit down and read to them. But it's, it's not like, you know... A big kid book if you can see see I should sell these books but I just don't have time I don't have time to do all those parties and crap and I would just buy all my own books so it's just a story about the moon and being on the moon and you guys get it so and then the last best born book we got now I feel like we didn't get him enough books for Christmas <sighs> we really love books and reading it is how to baby a little dinosaur this book is so cute and it's from another series too and it's just like how to bathe like a dinosaur or whatever and I know it kind of like teaches him at the same time I don't know so all right this also includes stocking stuffers what I'm actually going to put in a stocking I don't know yet because I don't know what all is going to fit and you know always at Target they put out like the stocking section um at Christmas time so I might buy a few other little things he's also probably going to get we will not use a walker the kind that they sit in and walk around with those are really bad for development. Like there's even a thing on our pediatrician's website about them. Um, so we won't use those. Like I'm not saying like you shouldn't use one for your kid. That's why we choose not to. The kind of walkers you can use that are okay for their development once they can stand freely and they start trying to take steps is the push walkers. Um, and so one company is sending us one to see what I think about it, to try it out. So he will probably end up getting that for Christmas. That's not in this, but I did want to mention that um, because I was looking at buying one, but then we got the opportunity to try one. So yeah. Um, all right, so I'm just gonna move into loud, obnoxious toys. Okay, so I'm trying to find a balance. He does not have that many light up toys. Right now, the only thing he has is a little play table thing that turns it's like on the floor now but it turns into a table um and so no i they they, they can figure it out <laughs> like i'm not gonna be showing stuff he already has so the thing about it is is we don't do screen time for reasons and um <clears throat> it's not very good for their development and uh before two so we don't do screen time and it's okay to have some like toys that make noise and sound and stuff like that but you don't want all their toys to be really distracting because it can kind of like not as intense as screen time can but it can kind of have the same effect just a bit more mild so we do like we're not like horrible parents i'm gonna let him have some light up stuff it's all gonna be wood toys and stuff but also i want him to develop and learn stuff without always having like songs and talking and lights and stuff like that and, and you know like so yeah there is some singing song stuff like that and then there's some wood stuff so i'm gonna show you guys he literally only has one singing song thing now if our families ask what he wants then i have some stuff to direct him to that is more educational for christmas but still fun that he'll really love but this is pretty much 
up until like, what do you think, babe? Like 18, 19, 18 months ish. Yeah. Um, we're not going to buy him any more light up stuff for that purpose. Yeah. Plus, he's going to have he has playroom where he's going to be doing activities with mom and stuff that are super educational because I wasn't teaching her. That's just your life now, kid. So this is one thing we got him. I went back and forth about getting a wood one of these. It's like, I can't get it in the whole thing. It's like one of those like cubes, you know, and they make the nice wood ones and we might eventually buy him one for downstairs, which I, I said like, he's going to have a playroom. He's not going to have toys downstairs. Now I'm like, I need to buy this toy for downstairs, but I ended up getting him this. Oh, you turned it off. Um, this is one of those light up ones and I only, it says like colors and this says like A when you stick the block in. Well, A. there you go. Okay. <laughs> Shut your mouth. Okay. <clears throat> it also has like um, pegboards and things they twist with their finger. And on the top, it's got like, you know, they move like stuff around. And it's not just all lights and sound, but like I said, we are going to let them have a few of those. They're not going to be things we're going to play with like all day long. Um, we're going to be doing a lot of stuff that is preschool work. Um, that doesn't require buying like expensive things but um this is just fun stuff from you this is the other light up thing we went back and forth because he y'all have seen in our blogs he is uh -oh. he's like say something and i'll say it back Okay, this thing would grow the most with him, and that's why we got it. There was a monkey thing where the lantern went like this, and the monkey sang and danced, and it, like, flashed lights. And then there was a dog one he wanted. This is the Bright Beats, and it, seem, it seems to do the most and grow with them the longest, I think, personally. So, yeah, I just thought this will be something he enjoys longer than the other ones. It has more educational stuff. Also, a big tip for you guys, if you go shopping at Babies R Us and stuff, check amazon check walmart's price target all that stuff while you're in the store and babies r us will price match um you can't get two deals together like this thing was 30 dollars. it was 40. no 30 online. Oh, 30 online it was 30 on amazon and um in the store it was 40. so i went on a thursday because i have a uh, babies r us credit card to get 10 percent off on thursdays and when you price match something, you can't um, you can't get that ten percent off or whatever. But it ended up we ended up saving more. But um, always try to price match and stuff. You can't use those two deals together though. Okay, so is that all the loud, obnoxious? This isn't really loud or obnoxious. Um, I actually got this was the <laughs> this was the first Christmas item I bought him. And it was on sale. They had like a little sale on it. And I actually got Liam one too. But I gave it to Liam ahead of time. Because he'll be, you know, it was it was more his age. Um, like when I got it, it was appropriate for. And uh, so it is like this. Oh, I ripped it. Pulling it out of the package. Whatever. Um, dunk and juggle seal. So you put the ball in. You know, fine motor skills. All that stuff. Hand-eye coordination. And it goes through here. And the seal... It's like there's a song and then the seal lets it go and the ball comes out this way and they can crawl and chase it and put the ball back in. So I got that for him. Liam already has his. Um, oh, that's a sad story. That's a sad story. Okay, so these are some wooden toys we got um, that I thought were super educational. Um, we got a stacking one, a sorter, a shape sorter. And this rolling giraffe with like the beads, oh, there, I'm doing it backwards, the bead maze. So um, I really like this line from Toys R Us. We probably will tell our family members if they don't want to get any of the other stuff that we kind of found to suggest um, that anything from this like wood line is great. They have a lot of educational stuff. And honestly, sometimes these wood toys, even though like in a high end boutique kind of store, they would cost more. Um, these and the Doug and Melissa and stuff, they're really, I think it's Doug and Melissa, they're really not that expensive. Another thing we're going to be asking people for is puzzles for him and stuff. And of course he doesn't get them, then I'll probably buy them slowly because he's going to need puzzles and more educational stuff. But So 
that is the wooden toy set we got with the sorter and all that. The next thing we got, you guys might have seen our my vlogs, is this Buzz Lightyear at the Disney Store. Um, toy Story is his favorite book to read, Toy Story 1 and 2. I don't really know why he's so young that he would think like a... I could see if I gave him screen time and he like... I mean, I guess it's not that much different. He sees something he likes. Um, but, I mean, I don't know. He just really likes the book Toy Story. So um, I got him, I got him Buzz Lightyear, of course, because space theme. But um, he actually, in the store, he was just like, meh, when he saw the Buzz Lightyear. Now he's staring at it from across the room. But when I brought it home and pulled it out of the bag and showed Justin, he was like, <laughs> and so, and now he's sitting there like, <laughs> but sorry, baby, I'm sorry to show you this again, but it's for Christmas. So, <clears throat> what is the saddest cough I ever heard? So this is another Christmas gift from the Disney store. Um, it was a Disney outlet, so it was a little, it was, it was like, I don't know, things are a little cheaper there. Um, okay, so I think the rest, okay, this is not going to be a stocking stuffer, obviously. And just to prove to you guys what I say about budgeting, somebody left a comment on my Christmas budgeting video from a few years ago that was like, well, we just wait till you actually have kids. You won't want to buy them clearance stuff. I mean, oh my God. Oh my god, guess what? I have a baby and I'm buying him clearance stuff. Because it's still a freaking toy that's good. It's just on clearance. And it's a wood toy and it's cool. And some of these are a little ahead in the development, you know, the more like 18 month toys. But sometimes at Christmas and stuff, you know, you shouldn't like, you don't want to be like spoiling your kid as they get older with material things, you know. So, you know, they, they don't need that much. So I tried to get him some stuff that he can kind of grow into as well. Plus it was on clearance. So... Um, these, this is like sensory thinking problem solving. Anyways, the octopus, use the octopus to pick up the little fishies. And it's like a wood kind of plastic blended toy. It's like Fisher Price trying to be all fancy and using like French words and shit, but it's, you know, it's, it's a toy. It's in French because they sell it in Canada too. <clears throat> they sell it in Canada too. No, I because they, they sell they okay they you know what they sell this shit in Canada too and there's no French on it. No, look at my husband trying to embarrass me, but who just schooled him? Okay, because I got friends in Canada. I will call them and be like, "Hi, does this have French on it?" No, it doesn't. They're trying to be fancy. He is so excited about you being all sassy right now. He really likes when I have an attitude for some reason, and it scares the crap out of me. Okay, no, you this probably won't fit in his stocking either. God, this thing. Okay, so yeah, this thing was nine dollars. I got it for six, so three dollars off. I think it's a um, cool toy. This one it also helps their development, gross motor skills, sensory. Um, it is this one is a penguin, and as he rolls them kind of like a car, the head turns and he kind of wiggles. I thought that was cute. Um, again, a wooden toy, fancy in French. <laughs> um. <laughs> So. Apologies to all the fishers. <laughs> what? What? Uh -huh. <laughs> That's what I... Because at Disney, they're always doing that in the Disney cartoons where they're like, uh -huh. like, is it the lobster that's French? And, uh, no, it's the cook that's French in The Little Mermaid where he's like, uh -huh. that's why. I'm not being offensive to anyone in France on purpose. Y'all can make fun of me and say I talk like this because I'm from Texas. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Y'all got ballet? Okay. Okay. It's nothing personal. I, <clears throat> yeah. Justin's thinking I'm going to offend somebody. I'm just kidding. You guys can make fun of my Texas accent, y'all. I'm just messing with you. <laughs> He's really trying to get it. If you were holding a baby, he'd be in danger of flying objects right now. <laughs> no, too cranky to be testing like this. So this is another one. <clears throat> and these are just little toys that, you know, do things like this. Um... Like, you know, tactile, um, hand-eye coordination, development stuff, fine motor skills. What does this one do? Yeah, the claws come out. Yeah, this one, the claws come out. Okay. Just kind of stuff like that. I, know, I might take these out of the package and put these in a stocking is what my thinking was. Um, and so the, this was $5. They were, these little little toys right now I'm showing you were three. This is the last one we got. Um, this guy goes like this. His wings fold in like this. And it may seem really simple to y'all, but this kind of stuff is really important for like gross motor skills, hand-eye coordination, all that stuff. Um, they're fine motor skills, not gross motor skills, fine motor skills. 
Um, and you'll find that you can have all that twinkling bright light stuff and you'll hear people say, and my baby went and played with the box. It's the same kind of thing here. Something so simple can be super educational, but also get their attention a lot more than all the flashy bright light stuff. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, so that's just my years of experience talking. This is another thing I got. I don't know if this will put this in his stocking because I feel like we got a bunch of stuff for his stocking now. Oh, we might, we might, we might. So this is the Baby Einstein remote. I want to get him one little thing for the diaper bag. None of his diaper bag stuff makes noise. It's just kind of like fine motor skills, stuff like that. Um, so it's just... Y'all probably seen this. It's just a Baby Einstein remote. Um, Okay. Shh. There's a switch. Okay, it's off. And, oh wow, it feels like really loud. Oh no, that's just. Oh, it's in Spanish too. That's cool. Espanol. Wait, does it do French too? <laughs> Who can I offend? Apparently. Oh, I like that it does French. Okay, so that's cool. I didn't even realize that when I bought it. Um, <clears throat> this is from Bye Bye Baby. I got him a couple little bath toys because this is going to like obviously be like it's six months. He's probably going to transition into the tub when he starts sitting up better or sitting up on his own. Um, so this is just mommy loves penguins and this penguin you pull this and the penguin drives through the water. So yeah, that's just a little toy from Bye Bye Baby from Sassy. Um, I had put like a bunch of expensive ass squishy fish and stuff in the water and then we passed this bin and I think Crystal actually got this too the other day. She's like, that's a good price for toys. This was three bucks for these little um, <clears throat> squeezy water toys, which is good because you actually have to throw these out a lot. When I nannied, I would always be like, it's time to get the boys new squishy toys for the tub because they would be mildewed. You actually want to throw these out once they mildew because that's just gross. Um, sometimes you can squeeze in some bleach water and stuff and prevent mildew longer, but at some point you're probably going to have to replace them. So this is a good deal. Three little like squishy water toys for, it's basically, they're basically like a buck each. So yeah. <clears throat> is this the last thing? Yep. We got through it all in 24 minutes. Jesus. Um, these are... These are not, oh, these are O-balls. Okay, these were like the cheapest O-ball toys I've ever bought. Um, do you remember how much these were? Like $2.99? No, they were $4.99, but I had my 10% off. Okay, so these are little O-ball Go Grip cars. It says one and a half plus, but honestly, he's going to be at the age where he can do this. I'm telling you guys, some of these are just safety precautions because they don't want kids to choke and stuff. But if you supervise them, these ki kids can use this kind of stuff a lot earlier. Um... I'm just telling you that from like experience if you're a new parent like don't be paranoid and think like even though you think your kid could do that for some reason they shouldn't have it because it says this you just want to supervise um oh look this was made in Canada and it's not in French okay he is, he is so, so right now. I got a race car <laughs> and I got a police car because Papa's a police officer Say, yeah, my grandpa's a police officer, so we got the police car to chase the race car. Fun statistic, if you have a red car, you're more likely to get pulled over. Okay, so that is the end of what we got Jackson for Christmas. Yeah, I feel like it's a lot, but then I look at him like, did I get him enough? Like, truly, he does not need that much. You're going to get so spoiled by grandparents. I just know it, aunts and uncles. I mean, they better, though. Not the grandparents, like the aunts and uncles that I've been buying gifts for years for their kids. They better. You be better. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You want to say hi? I didn't even show. I didn't even show people. Jackson. Maybe people want to see you. I know, he's covered. It's not a spit of his throw up. Yeah. See, I keep throwing up on the rotavirus and you're shitting my pants. Yeah. <laughs> But it's okay, because mommy and daddy always here to wipe your booty. Until you're older, and then you have to wipe ours. Okay, say bye, friends. Say bye! <laughs>